Hi guys, and thanks like for watching our weather update on March 4th, 2023. So today, we're going through, um, first of all, the um, chart, uh, the um, UKV um, high-res um, short-range charts for the precipitation and clouds for the next five days. And then we look at the mid to longer range on where central dot D looking at the models. So, um, okay, right on, on with it then. Um, but also now we're, we're on we're, we're on the brink of some very interesting times. Um, next week is looking very, very cold. Um, really quite cold for March, very cold for March. Um, possibly even exceptionally cold if it continues. And um, snow will fall in some parts of the country but devils, but but the um, devils in the detail for where it will fall. If if you see what I mean, like um, I'd favour northern areas and coastal areas. Um, but as ever, time will tell, and we will have to see. So, start off with the uh, EK Met run. Then I'm gonna run through this. Um, you can see the um, through, through tonight, a few showers come come down into the north of the country. Mainly like some moderate ones, while further south is overcast and cloudy, and um, quite quite um, a cool night with temperatures into the low single figures. Um, going to tomorrow, showers break out more widely across um, North Leinster, Ulster, and Connex, with a few heavy ones in there, especially in Leinster. Um, they f they 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 they, they, dri they drift um, southwards into the evening, but before f fizzling out. Um, and as we head into Monday. We see um, a band of patchy rain moving into the north, and here and behind it, snow showers pack, pack right into Scotland. Very very wide with snow showers, and and there really is a um, yellow warning for Scotland for, for snow and ice, um, and northern England. So that's um, really quite a big thing. Um, that's a push later on this Monday. The um, band of rain, which is the polar front, the cold front, pushes southwards. Turning to snow, as you can see over the uh, Wicklow Mountains there, towards the, the end of the day, so a um, few flakes possible up there as the cold air undercuts. That's pushing to Tuesday, um, something, interesting ha something quite interesting happens. The rain, um, mystery falls as rain, obviously, um, early on Monday night, and it's patchy, but then it gets a bit, a bit more widespread. Um, into early hours of Tuesday and turns to snow in Munster. So a month, so, so Munster could see, could see could see um a snow event on during the early hours of Tuesday morning, um for a few hours. So a, a slight covering could be achieved there. Um and into Tuesday, we see wintry showers packing into the north coast, possibly a few on the west and eastern coasts as well. Um into Wednesday, the wind um, shifts more easterly, so we get snow showers coming into the east coast on Wednesday. Um. And into Thursday, we start to see the Atlantic starting to try and break through. Um, so patchy rain, sleet, and snow for the south coast um, on Wednesday night on this run. Of course, don't don't take this too seriously because um, it's very very uncertain. Um, you know, with the positions of these fronts and everything like that. So it's all it's all up in the air. Um, so don't take this too seriously. And by the end of Thursday, we've got another front waiting in the wings to the southwest. So that's how the UKV high risk chart is looking, just giving us an idea about where snow is likely to fall. Um, so as I said, in northern areas as well as coastal areas of the west, east, and north. Um, now the GFS charts, actually I've got a wrong interval, six hour intervals, um, and we'll also need an interval hover, and we'll go from there. So we know it's turning cold. Now let's let's watch it unravel. High pressure retrogresses towards Greenland tomorrow, and we drop a bitterly cold northerly wind in. Upper temperatures are very cold, with a minus 5 Celsius ice therm down to southern England, and the minus 10 Celsius ice therm down towards central Scotland. Um, and we push through, and the northerly wind into Tuesday and Wednesday um, dies out somewhat, but, but we stay cold. Um, and by the end of the week, we see low pressure attacking from the Atlantic, Friday, March 10th, um, with a very defined warm front here, and on the boundary between the warm and cold air, on the colder side of the boundary, on the colder side of the boundary, should I say, um, we will see snow. We're, we're likely to see, see it anyway. But this, is, this will only be a 
temporary snow event as we have Mardero coming in behind it. And you can see by, by the patterns, we see westerly winds and mild air. Our fair temperatures by um, March 13th. Yeah, are very mild with um, the plus five Celsius ice term covering the country. Um, and you bring up a southwesterly wind into mid March and turns into a southerly, and that's lovely. And you turn into a westerly um, into March 20th and back into a southwesterly on March 21st. So a very mild and wet spell coming up mid March if that GFS is. If, if that GFS run is correct. Um, this is the ECM WF run, so we can watch it all over again. The high pressure retrogression towards Greenland tomorrow and Monday, and we drop in that bitterly cold MS from the north. Upper air temperatures on Tuesday, looks like this, minus five line towards the south of England, minus ten towards Scotland. Um, so it's wintry showers on Tuesday, especially in northern, western, and eastern areas. Um, and it all depends on, on the... Um, on the exact um, sort of um, flow of the wind, if you see what I mean, the exact orientation of the wind, pressure patterns, everything like that. If we see more of an easterly component to northerly, that means the eastern areas are more um, exposed to snow showers. But if we see more of a westerly to the northerly, it means if you're in the west, you've got a higher, higher, a higher chance of snow showers. But at this stage, if you watch the isobars and if you put the wind directions on and then zoom in, okay. It's very hard to make it out, um, but I'll just move it on a bit forward. Um, from a day on Tuesday, this is a bit more clear to see. Okay, so it's where um, you sort of get the lines pointing in, so this sort of line here. And you can see it's sort of coming in from a northerly direction, but very slightly easterly here. That would suggest that the eastern areas are slightly more exposed than the west. To snow showers um, at 6 p.m. Because uh, these winds will veer around quite drastically through Tuesday. Not drastically, but um, they'll veer very slightly. But these slight um, differences in the, in the wind direction will make a big difference as to whether the coast sees snow showers or not. Whereas at 6 a.m. on Tuesday, got a, got a direct northerly wind, so. Um, all areas were really exposed to snow showers then, um, especially in the north. Um, into Wednesday, we see low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. And on this GFS run, it breaks through earlier on Thursday. So um, upper air temperatures on th on um, Thursday. We we're getting to the colder in the north um, and that sort of stuff. So and that will break through, bringing this rain and snow with it. And by the end of the, G of the ECM run, onto Tuesday... Um, looking mild, wet, and windy, but is high pressure blocking over Greenland trying to get going again? And I, I could be plunged into this northerly winds. Time will tell. Time will tell. As ever with the weather, time will tell. Um, GM run. So, blocking retrogressions over Greenland towards Greenland, should I say? High pressure retrogressions towards Greenland and becomes blocking, and we drop down this bitterly cold northerly winds. Um, through Tuesday and Wednesday. Wintry showers, especially to northern and eastern areas, possibly in the west as well. Um, and towards the end of the week, these little low pressures sliding in from the from the southwest. It could bring snow to the south with that, actually. Um, so anywhere north of this uh, black line dividing... Um, anywhere north of the zero Celsius ice term, we'll see snow. Um, so this green area and this turquoise area, um, anywhere there could see snow. And I'll just push through, and same as, and this is more like in line, in line, sorry, only one in line, um, it's in line with, it's, it's more in line with the GFS, I call it that finally, um, and breaks through on Friday, and we go westerly for the weekend. And that's how it finished up. Tuesday, March 14th, very strange pressure basin with low, with, with, with um, low pressure over Denmark, low pressure out the Atlantic, low pressure over Iceland, low pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure over Greenland, well, relatively low pressure, and low pressure over Newfoundland. With rarely, with a very unstable sort of slack flow, um, very strange pressure pattern from that G GEM run. UK Met run shows high pressure, retrogressing towards Greenland, 
and into Monday we pull down that very very cold northerly winds. Um, and that will bring wintry showers on Tuesday and Wednesday. Into Thursday we see a front trying to come through into the cold air, but it sort of fails until Friday, um, and that eventually pushes through for Saturday. So at this stage, it looks like we'll be cold until Friday. Friday is the likely day that it will change and go milder. Um, but but we have to see about that. Earlier they were saying Thursday, um, but now it's being pushed to Friday. So just have to see how far north that low pressure is. Um, if not, I mean, if if the low pressure attacks from a position that, a position that's further north, the milder air is is more is more likely to come in. Anyway, um. Going into Wednesday with the Icon run, very, very cold, northerly winds, low pressure to our south on Thursday. That may bring a snow event, will it? Will it? Yes, it probably could. It could, probably could. Um, and I've just pushed through. And that looks like. Um, we're still quite cold on Sunday, March 12th with, with the Icon, actually. So we don't really make. We never really get the Mardera in with the, with the Icon. And with the Arpege run, same, same story, cold air. Very, 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 I'm saying cold, but I mean bitterly cold air um, coming through. And it's like by Thursday, March 9th, low pressure in the Atlantic is waiting to um, displace it. And actually, be before I go, I'll just show you something very interesting from the UK Met run. Um, at th on this run, at Thursday, on, thur on Thursday, at um, about... Th about um, Okay, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm in my mind up. About 9 a.m. Look at this. Massive, massive temperature contrast on the surface. So we got temperatures at 10 or 11 degrees, um, or even 12 degrees, off the coast of Cornwall and um, over over the over the the extreme the extreme southwestern t tip of Cornwall. Um, we're seeing temperatures of 10 degrees, but just go very slightly northeastwards and northwards and even over the sea here you've got temperatures of three degrees and then right over north wales it's still minus two look at that 12 degrees over cornwall minus two degrees over wales snowing in wales raining in cornwall massive temperature contrast and that is what's going to feel the snow that is ridiculous that is absolutely ridiculous um it looks strange doesn't it it looks really really strange um, it's, it's just my opinion, my crazy opinion, guys. It's, it's, it looks really, really um interesting to me. To where we're seeing such a massive temperature contrast, even minus one degree here in like I think that's Devon, North Devon, and you got twelve degrees just in Cornwall, like a mere I don't know what that is, eighty miles away, eighty miles, eighty miles away. Um, yeah, so that's massive. Anyway, that's enough droning on, droning on and on. Um, so the upshot is that we're going cold next week. Very cold, bitterly cold, frost and ice for sure, wintry showers for sure, but where? That is not sure yet. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back tomorrow with another video, but for now, I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your Saturday evening. Bye for now.